I get to share with you today another key, another tool for the assurance of eternal life. The assurance that we have this thriving relationship with God as the Holy Spirit pours his love out in our hearts toward God. Assurance. Assurance. To put it another way, assurance of salvation is assurance of eternal life. To put it another way, assurance of eternal life is assurance of the love of God because John says, Jesus says, that this is eternal life, that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. The full meaning of the word knowing is loving. Now, to put it another way, there is so much opposition, there's so much opposition in this world to this life that we have in God, to a God-oriented life, God-prioritizing life, a life that is anchored in heaven rather than in the temporary distractions of this life. There is so much going on. To put it another way, it is to say, assurance that you will overcome this world. Overcome the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, the pride of life. Where do we get the confidence that we will overcome the world? Overcome the world. All of the distractions outside us. Consider just the news. The crazy things that are being proposed. The standards that are being given to us to teach our children and for us to live by. Never mind all the wars and the rumors of wars all around us, never knowing exactly what will happen tomorrow. And never mind the wars outside. How about the war within? Our familiar sin, whether that's greed or lust or just uncontrolled passion in our hearts. When we are just surrounded within and without with all of this turbulence, all of this storm. How can we have any level of confidence slash assurance that we will overcome this world, that this love relationship with God will endure the trials of life? That's the question of the letter of First John. And today we are given another tool. Look at 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. That tool is faith. Read with me. For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? The thing that overcomes the world is not your redoubling of your effort to work harder or to do more or to live more rightly. That's not what the apostle is pointing to here. The apostle points to something outside of us, not within us. Points us to the faith that looks to Christ, not to our own strength. Who is it that overcomes the world? Except the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Belief in the Son of God is the key to overcoming the world. The person who is born again is the one who has faith. And the one who is born again overcomes the world. The overcoming of the world is guaranteed. That's what the children of God do. And because that's what the children of God do, oh, child of God, this is what you will do. And not only this, this is what you have done. That's what it means to believe in Jesus Christ, who has already overcome. Look, John chapter 16, now the gospel of John chapter 16. Ah, oh, I love the fact that the author of 1 John has written other passages in the Bible. We're going to look at another one tomorrow. But the whole Gospel of John, written by the same author, 
John chapter 16, verse 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation. You will have wars. You will have temptation. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Jesus has endured all of the temptation, all of the threatening, all of the fear of this life, and he has overcome. And because by our faith in him, we are included in him, and all that he has done is credited to our account, we too have overcome in Jesus And in that victory that Jesus has won in experience, we will overcome. Loved ones, I know we fall a lot. We get bruised and broken. But in all that, remember that Jesus is in it to win it. Jesus is the one who started the good work in you, and he will complete it. One of the great tools of assurance that this relationship with God within me will endure and overcome the world is to know that you are not the one enduring and overcoming the world. Did you get me? Did you hear me? It is to remember that you look outside of yourselves to the victory, the overcoming that Jesus has already accomplished. So look to them today. Loved ones, look, if you've fallen on your face a hundred thousand times, maybe in the same way, maybe in the same position. From that position, get on your knees. And instead of looking down or within, look up. Look up to him who has already overcome the world. This faith is the faith. This faith, this trust in the identity you have in him overcomes the world. Your name, King Jesus, it is Emmanuel. You are God with us. You are the God who is there and the God who is here. And because you are here, we own the victory you have already won. Because you have overcome, we too will overcome. And we have overcome. Jesus, in your name we pray. Amen.